Okay, I got a leak. Underneath here, full of water. I'm looking for my Starlink. There it is. Incredible. Uh, amazing. Here are our new fenders. I didn't film me washing the boat because I look like an old man trying to wash a big ass boat. Holy crap, I see a Popeye's chicken. gang i am back in savannah georgia i know i just left but i, I came back because uh, the chairs that we have been waiting for to go in the table in the cockpit and upstairs that we ordered over seven months ago are ready like i said the manufacturer is here in savannah oh hush up anywho it was going to cost an arm and a leg to pack it all up and get it sent down to fort pearson it was just i mean it's a five hour drive so i just flew into savannah i've been flying all night long my flight was canceled came in from california we're going to go to marine tables right now pick it up and drive it down and unpack it and put it on the boat in addition to that well, i'm just going to do a bunch of things i'm going to be here for two days and i'm prepping for moving over to the Bahamas. So I got a lot of stuff to do on the boat. I've got to activate my Starlink, which we just had installed. I got to back myself up with a bunch of filters, oil, gas, things like that. I still need some snorkel gear and equipment and stuff for everybody when we get to the Bahamas, lawn chairs, stuff like that. Do a little provisioning and you know, just, just stuff that's got to get done. And I got to get it done this weekend because I got to go back to LA again and work next week. And then on the 24th of February, we are shoving off from here and going down south and getting ready to cross over to the Bahamas. So, lots to do. Here we go. And here we are. It's so weird. Seven months to get them, two minutes to load them. <laughs> and you're out the door. All right, we got about a five hour drive. I won't bore you with it. So we'll go fast and we'll get there. Oh, look at my new boat shoe. Fancy. Here we are. Lovely Fort Pierce. Unload all this stuff. Here we are, back home. for my Starlink. There it is. Yeah, buddy. Starlink has been installed. Can't wait to see if I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna get right to these chairs right now. I don't wanna run out of time. Just gorgeous. Wouldn't you say? Not sure that's the right orientation, but it's the right idea. Seriously has upped the value of this yacht tremendously. Just incredible quality work, Marine Table, Savannah, Georgia. You gotta use, you're gonna be on a, a wait list for a year, but it's worth it. Good morning. I uh, had a wonderful night's sleep last night. I love the bed on this boat. It's just great. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Got a lot to do. Did some unboxing last night. Here are our new fenders, which I love. They're nice and navy blue with a little orange top to it. Obviously, they need to be inflated. So the first thing I'm doing this morning is seeing if my air pump fits this adapter which plugs into the top of the fender here and blows it up if not then i gotta go find another pump or another adapter or something like that so this is kind of my first order of business this morning is to do this and get these babies pumped up 
I just looked at my pump. It's not actually a pump. It's a shop vac that also goes the other way, but it, it's not going to work. So I got to go find myself an air pump this morning. Then in addition to that, I've got this box to open up, and it is a skeg. There's a little skeg that's uh, down below in front of the props, and it breaks away very easily. And it's there to protect the props, so it does its job. Well, uh, that first trip I ever took, I'll link the video down below, I scraped bottom. Uh, it was muddy, so I didn't have any damage, but apparently the skeg broke off did its job basically so this is another skeg and i will uh put this back on i'll take it out of the box here in a minute and i'll put it up front somewhere and store it and then i'll put it on when we pull the book oh, there's a train coming by i don't know if you can hear it we'll put it on when we paint the bottom down in uh, the bvi there it is now you hear it oh, there it is it's actually called the sacrificial keel look at there Always a bunch of boxes. Remember I talked about the alcohol going upstairs in the last video. Also doing that this morning. By the way, speaking of health, were we speaking of health? No, we weren't. Um, I'm on a 30 day no drinking thing. You know, it's, I, it's just something I need to do every year. Uh, sometimes I do it, well, I did it twice this year it just can become a problem and so the best thing to do is just cut yourself off and it's a good thing to reset your body so i'm not drinking for the next i got 28 more days i've only two days in yeah there they are i've only gotten them halfway up because i'm lazy well, and my next trip up i'll pick them up and i'll take them up so in addition to the uh, fenders i gotta wash the boat there's bird crap all over the boat and uh it's a beautiful day so i will wash the boat and just tidy up a bit Always a beautiful day in the marina. Okay, just finished washing the boat. Uh, I didn't film me washing the boat because I look like an old man trying to wash a big ass boat. That was a workout, which is good for me. I complained toward the end. That's why I didn't film it, but the boat's nice and clean. Uh, by the way, if anybody out there has flex teak, I would love hints and pointers as to how to get rid of bird dookie off of it. I mean, I just use a little toothbrush type thing. It's kind of the best, but it doesn't all, get it all the way off, especially if the, the bird dookie's been sitting there for a little while. So if anybody's got any hints about something to use or what have you, now, you know, if, if it's fresh, it's easy to get off. But, you know, I've been gone for a couple of weeks so there was a couple of piles that I kind of got mostly clean, not entirely, which bothers the heck out of me. So uh, enough of that. I am now headed to West Marine. Uh, I'm going to look for an air pump. If I don't find it there, I'll go to a Home Depot or something and uh, try to blow up these fenders this afternoon and grab some food because I'm hungry. And we have yet to get snorkel gear, so I'm going to get some of that now too. Love Guardian. They're not cheap though, so I may keep looking around. Okay, that was successful. I found some uh, snorkel gear I liked, price I liked. And we got the pump. It's almost noon and I haven't eaten a darn thing today after washing my boat. I pooped and holy crap, I see a Popeye's chicken. Nobody. Can I get a five piece chicken tenders, number four? How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Doing well, sir. No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Have a you have a great day too, okay? Okay. How are you? People are just nicer in the South. I don't know what it is, man. There's just more conversation among each other in the South than there is out West. I don't know why. I think it's a big city thing, obviously. It's not just California. It's a big city thing versus smaller communities. Oh, iced tea, chicken tenders from Popeyes. And back to the boat. What could be better? Okay, back. Uh, Popeyes chicken wasn't that great. It's really good in California. I don't know what's going on. Alright, I just got just a basic pump. It ain't anything fancy. Um, and my adapter will go on it nicely. So I got a cover for each fender too. So here's the fender. Here's the cover. So you just put the fender inside the cover like this. 
pull it out the bottom. And then on the top, this little bad boy just goes right over the top like this. And then when you inflate it, then the cover stays on. So to inflate it, you just take this thing off like this. All right, here goes nothing. So what I'm figuring out is if you got to blow it up halfway, then fit the cover on just right because you want it to be, and then blow it the rest of the way. That's what I'm learning. Another beautiful morning. Just trying to wake up here. If you'll recall, I installed the Arlo cameras up here. It said that they were going to stay uh, charged for six months, and they lasted about a month and a half. They are right now because I'm having to charge them. A little Premier League soccer this morning is always a good way to wake up. So today's task before I take off is I need to look at all my filters and all the pumps and things that I need to have stored for the trip. So that's what we're going to do now. The storage on this uh, Aquila is pretty phenomenal. There's something under every cushion. And I got all my stuff here. Uh, I had an air conditioning issue last night. I got out of the shower yesterday and water was leaking from the ceiling right there. Okay, I got a leak right there which is right underneath the bridge. And I uh, went up there and the area underneath the helm was completely soaked with water. Underneath here, full of water. So there's a leak in here somewhere. It's a major condensation is what was going on. And a couple of the pipes were wrapped by duct tape. Okay, I sucked up the water and all of this right here is wet. It's leaking from here, here, all of it way back there is wet. This whole thing that's duct taped here is soaking wet, which is coming out of the chiller up here. And we had this problem down in the crew quarters where a lot of the lines were just duct taped and didn't really have insulation around them. And so we had major condensation down there. And so the exact same thing is happening up there. So I've got somebody coming out on Monday to fix that up there. So. It's not fun when you get out of the shower and water's raining down inside your salon. Anyway, here's all my uh, stuff and I need to get more, so. All right, that's it. I'm all duded up here. Aren't those cute? So cute. Trying to get my Arlo cameras working again. Next time I see you, I'll be on here with uh, a captain and a couple of buddies and we'll be traveling over to the Bahamas. It'll be a great trip. That's in a couple of weeks. See ya.